So I posted this meme where I blocked out pins on a processor to improve performance, but it turns out this was actually a real thing back in the Core 2 era. Overclockers discovered you could literally hack your CPU with a piece of tape. Intel processors have tiny contact pads on the bottom that tell your motherboard how fast to run the chip. By covering specific pads with electrical tape or painting connections with conductive ink, you could trick your motherboard into thinking it had a completely different processor. The most famous example of this was the Intel Q6600. This budget quad core normally ran at 2.4 gigahertz, but with a simple tape mod, you can make your motherboard think it was a three gigahertz chip. No BIOS changes and no software tweaks, just a tiny piece of tape. This was huge because it let budget builders get flagship performance for half the price. You'd buy the cheapest quad core available, spend five minutes with some tape, and then you'd basically have a processor that performed like chips costing twice as much. It completely bypassed motherboards that wouldn't let you overclock normally. The drawback is that this technique required precision because one wrong move and you'd brick your processor. But when it did work, it was like finding a cheat code for hardware back then.